family, how's it going? So today I'm going to be telling you guys my New Year's resolutions for 2018. If you're brand new to my channel and you don't really know, uh, when I do New Year's resolutions, it's not like, okay, I have to get this done. This needs to get done. And if it doesn't get done, then oh my god, I just failed. It's terrible. It's more like, okay, these are the things that I would like to do, and these are the things that we're going to try to set out to do, and if we don't do them, then we don't do them. It doesn't get done. It's not a big deal. But we're going to try. So before I tell you guys what the resolutions are for next year, I thought it would be neat to look back and see what our resolutions were for last year and what we got accomplished. So I've broken up my goals into three categories. The first category is family goals, like what we want to accomplish, uh, Devin and I as a family. The second category is channel goals, what I would like to do with my YouTube channel this year. And the last one is just like a personal goal, just something that um, I picked for myself to work on. So the first goal that Dev and I have as a family, and this is number one, like if we accomplish nothing else this year, we're accomplishing this, and that is to get a new car. We did end up getting a new car. We got our RAV, and we also got Devin's truck. And the second goal that we have as a family this year is to move out of this apartment. We did move out of the apartment, and we now live in this rental house. Moving on into the second category, my channel goals. The first goal that I have is to reach 3,000 subscribers. I did not reach 3k subs. I didn't even make it to 2k. Are you kidding me? I'm at like 1,992. When I woke up this morning, I had lost five subscribers and I haven't had a loss that big at once in a while. So I was like, oh my god. Like, oh my, okay. But no, haven't made it to 3k yet. The second goal that I have for my channel, I would like to open up more about postpartum depression. I did open up more about my postpartum depression and I did tell you guys more about Grace and that whole story and what happened there. And the third and last goal that I have is to be more open with you guys about topics that I haven't even talked about yet. I did open up more on topics that I hadn't talked about. I started a mental health Monday series and by the way, that is picking back up this Monday. And the last goal that I have is a personal goal. I think that we should always be striving to be better people and uh, this particular one I just kind of picked because it's the area I have the most uh, problem with and that is to be a more patient person. That personal goal, I am no longer doing like personal goals like that because I believe that self growth is a ever continuing thing. It's not like it just happens all at once. So I'm not going to be doing quite those kind of personal goals anymore, but I am working on being more patient. I believe I've made progress this year. I'm not perfect, but I have tried. And now for this year's goals, I am still going to break them up into family channel and personal goals. So let's start with family goals. Goal number one is to pay off some of our debt. Devin wants to talk to somebody at the bank and set up some kind of payment plan and just pay off some of our debt and that will kind of like lead into family goal number two. This year we would really like to buy a house and Devin is really adamant about it. That's the whole reason why he wants to go to the bank and talk to somebody, set up a payment plan to kind of clean up his credit so that we can buy a house. We're pretty close to being at a good credit score where we can so I don't think it's going to take us like a really long time to get this done. But Devin is like, I want to buy a house and I really want to do this this year. And I think what we're going to do just to give you guys like a glimpse into our housing plans and how we want to do this, uh, we're thinking that we want to buy a kind of cheap house, like 60, 70,000, which around here is cheap. I don't know about your area, but uh, around here that's pretty cheap. And we think that we want to kind of flip it and just do like room by room, thing by thing. We're thinking that's what we want to do. But on the other hand, Devin is kind of like, well, why don't we just buy some property and put a modular home or a double white or something like that on that property. But he's not have, I don't know. We're just not very sold on that idea. We think that we're going to buy a cheap house and kind of flip it as we live in it. Goal number three, we would like to buy a van. And this is not something that just needs to happen this year. I think that we owe too much equity on our current vehicles because we just bought them this year in order to get a van. Devin swears that we can trade in the RAV because we haven't put a ton of miles on it and we're making our payments. So he says that we could if we needed to or wanted to, whatever, uh, trade it in for a van. 
but we would like to wait on that because you know the more you can put down on your next vehicle the better so this isn't something that needs to happen this year it might happen next year we'll just see where that goal takes us. Family goal number four, we would like to go on vacation and this is another goal that Devin really wants to do. Devin and I have been together, it'll be four years on the 31st of this month and we still haven't taken a vacation and I know I'm gonna get comments, you know, people tell me that they've been together for X amount of years with their significant other and they still haven't taken a vacation and I understand that but I really wanna go on one and he really wants to go on one too so this is something that we're going to try really really hard to do this year we've done like mini vacations like a weekend or a couple of days but we want to go on like a week vacation we actually want to take advantage of the vacation time that Devin's work allows him to have and finally go on one family goal number five is prepping to have baby number four and I kind of want to put an asterisk beside that because it's kind of iffy I mean it really just kind of like depends. Devin wants to get pregnant like this summer and I'm just like you know there are certain things that I do kind of want to get done. Like I would like to buy our own house first because I'm so tired of bringing babies home and having babies in rentals. I just want to have our own space and I want a nursery. I want to be able to actually have one. I'm seeing these vlogs of nursery tours and I'm like I would like to do that. My last nursery tour wasn't really a nursery tour. It was like, yeah, we have a bassinet beside of our bed and we have some clothes in our closet and that was about it. But I want to do like an actual nursery and I would like to have a rocking chair. I've always wanted a rocking chair or a rocking recliner. I mean like whatever. Just something in the nursery that rocks and I've just always wanted to have that. I don't think that it's like a dire necessity. I mean... I have to kind of decide what's more important. Do I really want another baby or do I really want to get this other stuff done? What is more important to me? Because I don't want a really big age gap in my kids. I, me and my siblings on my dad's side, we're all really close in age and me and my siblings on my mom's side are really far apart in age. And personally speaking, I like the family gap on my dad's side more because we grew up with the same similarities like we had the same life experiences and we grew up playing with the same toys and it was just kind of like we were just closer and I like that close age gap and I just I don't know I'm trying to decide which is more important to me now and I will just see what we do I might might get pregnant this summer. I might wait until next summer. Either way, I'm getting pregnant during the summer because I had Andy and I was like, oh my gosh, I really enjoy having pregnancies that end in the winter because I always, it doesn't matter what I do. It really, really doesn't matter what I do. I always gain between 40 and 50-ish somewhere in their pounds every single time I'm pregnant it and it's really hard on my body and if I'm gonna go through that I would rather go through that when it's cold outside because when it's hot outside and it's just blistering hot it's miserable it's just so miserable and I would just much rather have another winter slash spring pregnancy so if I do get pregnant again it'll be between like May and August that way I can have like a January to May baby that just I don't know I would just much rather have that. And now on to channel goals. Number one is I would finally like to hit that 3K subscribers. <laughs> this is my goal last year. Did I hit it? No, I did not. Although I have to give myself a little bit of slack. I did take two breaks this year. One of them was like four months long because of that big insecurity I told you guys about. When I made that vlog, <laughs> like some people were trying to give me YouTube advice and I appreciate it. I really do. Like I'm not knocking it but that wasn't the point the point was I have a very big fear of not being good enough for I mean my kids my husband it kind of like leaks into my whole life I you know I'm afraid that I'm not good enough for my kids I'm not good enough for my husband I'm not good enough for you guys and I'm trying really hard to push through that. I mean, with my kids and my husband, I can't just throw up my hands and say, oh, I give up. And I wouldn't. So, you know, 
it kind of manifests itself in different ways. With my YouTube channel, I've given up in the past because of that overwhelming fear. And I just really want to push through that. I just want to keep going anyway, keep vlogging anyway, even if I do have setbacks, even if people unsubscribe, who cares? If you don't like me, sorry about it. I mean, I just need to push through this. And I want to continue to do that because I'm so tired of that insecurity and that fear just overtaking my life. I just want to make that a goal for this year. Channel goal, no channel goal number two, I would like to find more things to vlog about. I feel like I'm kind of in a rut. It kind of feels, and I can't emphasize that enough, because to me, it feels like you have to have money to do YouTube because it costs money to do big haul vlogs and it costs money to go on vacations and there's just a lot of vlogs out there that are super popular that you have to have money to do and I can't do certain vlogs like you know, baby products I regret buying because I just don't have a ton of baby products that I've bought that I regret. I have like two, maybe three. There just isn't enough of them to make a vlog about. And I'm trying really hard to think what else I can do and what I could talk about. I'm just like having a hard time thinking of what it is. I can't do like DIYs because I'm not a DIY channel. It's just not me. That's not my channel. It doesn't fit in to my channel. So I'm trying to figure it out. I can't do daily, like daily life, like those kind of vlogs either because I'm a stay at home mom. I don't yet, yet have my driver's license. So I can't do that either. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I stay home all the time and I'm afraid, I'm really afraid of boring you guys because that's another thing with YouTube. You feel like you have to keep it fun and entertaining and exciting all the time because if you don't then people are going to unsubscribe from you and yes, believe it or not, that does actually matter. I don't care what big YouTubers say. Yes, it does matter and views matter too but so do subscribers. Like YouTube pays attention to that. If they didn't, play buttons wouldn't exist. So I'm just saying that I'm trying to figure it out and I'm eventually going to but that's a goal that I would like to hit this year and the last goal goal number three I would like to do mental health Monday every single Monday this year if I don't do it then I don't do it but I would like to do as many of them as possible every single Monday this year and I'm really hoping that I can pull this off and the last category personal goals I have two one is to get my driver's license it's kind of embarrassing but we accidentally let my license expire we just got caught up doing things and it's kind of embarrassing but I mean it happens. My license expired. So personal goal is to finally get my license back. And number two is to lose the baby weight. I'm about 20 pounds away from pre-pregnancy with Andy. And I would like to get back to that because 145 was also my high school weight. So I've been there once. I've lost all the baby weight once. I can do it again. And this time it's not a big stretch like after I had McKinley I had to lose like I think it was 75 pounds in four months that's my most watched video and I did that so I can do this I can lose 20 pounds this is also a goal that I would like to do before I get pregnant again because pregnancy is really hard on me and I do gain all that weight no matter what I do and I do get really big if I'm going to get that big again <laughs> then I want to lose as much weight as I can and be as fit as I can if I lose more than 145 awesome that's just you know cherry on top of Sunday if I don't then I don't but I at least want to get back to 145 and I'm going to start that at the beginning of the year well actually we don't get paid until the fifth so sort of the beginning of the year I'm gonna start eating healthy again and exercising I do bikini body mommy if you don't know who that is you can search her but um, I do that because it's free and she's on YouTube so I don't have to pay for a subscription to anything uh, I did do daily burn in the past but I'm going to do Bikini Body Mommy. So that is definitely a big goal for me this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to follow me on social media, there are links down below. And also down there is the link to my other channel. And I'll see you guys next year in 2018. Bye, guys. You know my heart, my heart.